one eighteen ninety. Those are key numbers that will shape Nebraska state government this year. One new governor sworn in along with eighteen new senators as they start a ninety day session. And it all starts with the pound of a gavel tomorrow. KATV News Watch Evans Andrew Ozaki has this new story at six. After four and a half days of legislative orientation, even a mock session, the 18 new senators are ready, almost. I'm not used to being addressed as senator yet, so that, uh, that still catches me off guard. David Snore from Scribner was actually sworn in four weeks ago. He replaced Charlie Jansen, who was elected state auditor. He will join a freshman class that knows they have to hit the ground running. We've got big issues, and we've got that. that we have to address. We want Nebraska to grow. We want economic development to come. Robert Hilkeman from Omaha says property tax relief is high on his list, but there are a number of other issues, including easing prison overcrowding and problems in the departments of corrections and health and human services. I do think we can make a difference on the prisons issue, uh, and we can save Nebraskans some money. Patty Panzing Brooks important. from Lincoln is one of five Democrats in the new group. She's not overly concerned about a conservative shift or working in what's supposed to be a nonpartisan legislature. I know we can work together. We all have the same concerns. We care about Nebraska. We care about the future of Nebraska. We have to work together to move our state forward. And you don't get there by butting heads with one another. That includes working with the new governor, Pete Ricketts. Longtime senators believe so far he's made all the right moves. He's been nothing but cordial and civil in our, in our relationship so far, and I'm optimistic that we're going to find a lot more common ground. He's reached out to us, and I think he really wants to work with the legislature. But just how long will this honeymoon last for everyone after the gavel falls? We'll see, we'll see what happens. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7. Session begins at 10 tomorrow morning. They're scheduled to go to June 5th.